we have seen about fundamental data types or you can call this as a basic data types basic uh, data types those were integer float for decimal string for a text boolean for maybe true and false and about a complex so when you are working mostly on mathematics and statistics there we use complex but most of the time we will be using these data types now let us go with the very most uh, special type of data type when it comes to python so these are special types uh, like list tuple you can call this as a tuple set we have a frozen set also frozen set dictionary range and we have byte byte array and none okay so if you count these all there are in total 14 data types in python 14 data types okay so so wherever you see these spaces these are not very much frequently used but when it comes to uh, frequently used data types these are four in the fundamental and in a special cases these five are the most usually data types okay now let us start with the list what is least data type? so let me give you a simple example of list so if you if i ask you what do you mean by list so just think for one or two seconds what what comes in your mind when i say about list so if you ask me what is list what comes in my mind the first thing is my shopping list i love the shopping list okay so when i uh, to give you a real example when i go for dmart so superstore any superstore i collect the shopping list with me always so i'll be having the first and the first thing in the list is the highest priority one it may be suppose paneer i'm just giving you some example real time example second i need some curd i need some biscuits biscuits fourth i'll write about some vegetables vegetables now when i talk about paneer i may write like this hey i want 500 grams i want curd 2 liters i want biscuits 4 i want vegetables many something like that okay why i'm telling you i'll i'll show you i'll be taking some rice maybe 2 kg i'll be taking some maggi uh, packet I'll write packet here. I'll tell you why. And if I go with again paneer, can I write like this? So if you feel like, hey, I have already written paneer, can I write here paneer? Obviously, I don't know like whether I have written a paneer or not. I can write it in a duplicate way. I can just duplicate it. Then it is okay. Yes, it is okay. Not to worry. Okay. So I have written these all now i'll relate this exactly to our list in python okay list in python now what is list so in list the first and foremost thing you need to remember is the duplicates are allowed obviously so i can write paneer here again i can write uh, for example i can write curd here so duplicates are allowed no worries you don't need or don't worry about the duplicates so in python data type also list i'm talking about list so duplicates are allowed in this second is heterogeneous objects are allowed so what do you mean by heterogeneous so if you look at the dictionary meaning heterogeneous means various data types are allowed for example i can take a number let me write it 2.5 i can take a float i can take a string I can say something like true like this so this is a boolean type this is a string type this is a string type this is a int type this is a 
float type, in type, these all are allowed. So heterogeneous objects are allowed. Understood? Then I can say that okay, while I'm traveling, while I am traveling, later on I feel that hey, I need to add milk in this. So can I add? Obviously, you can add, you can add at any time. So the third point what I want to mention is it is growable in nature. So growable in nature means you can add or you can remove. I don't need rice. So let me remove this. Will that work? Obviously it works because it is just like a shopping list. So it is growable in nature or you can decrease it or you can increase it. So when it comes to list, if you want to show that in Python, list is shown in this way. That is your square brackets. So when you are enclosed all this in the square brackets, we call it as a list. Okay. Then fourth point, now some talking about technicalities. So here in list order is preserved. So what is what do you mean by order is preserved? So whatever order I am giving for this shopping list, in the same way I may purchase, like I'll get the first paneer, then curd, then biscuit. So whatever order I have given, because order is important in this. So whatever order in which order I declare the data types, that order is always preserved. The order is not changing. That is your fifth, uh, fourth point. When order is preserved, when order is preserved, your indexing and slicing are applicable. So now what are indexing and slicing? We will look at in detail. Like indexing means if I say that, hey, what is my third element? What is my sixth element? What is my seventh element? We can easily pick those numbers if the order is preserved. If the order is preserved, indexing and slicing are applicable or they are possible. If order is not preserved, indexing and slicing are not applicable or not possible. Okay. And sixth point is your list is mutable. Now, what is mutable? What is unmutable? Immutable, sorry. What is immutable? We will discuss about that in detail. Uh, we have a separate session on mutability, mutable and immutable and also a separate session on what is indexing and slicing. But for now, for a basic understanding, list are like duplicates are allowed, heterogeneous objects are allowed, it is growable in nature, list uh, in list the order is preserved, list allows indexing and slicing, list is mutable. Let us do the hands-on on this. Let me show you Google Colab. Okay, we are using Google Colab for this. So let me uh, take this as a text and put these all in the, our text. Okay, I'll just copy it and put it here. So these are our 14 data types. Okay, so these are all our 14 data types. Uh, these are five and these are remaining uh, nine data types. Okay. A list tuple set, frozen set, dict, and so on. Okay, we can put a numbers here. So I'll do that formatting part later on, not an issue. So let me add this and say about the list. Hey, what is list? So we have discussed a theoretical part on list, like list is all these things. Let me copy this and paste it here. Okay. You can see the uh, theoretical part also. Now, let me start a hands-on on list. Suppose if I take any variable like a equal to, okay, let me zoom this. Yeah, a equal to, if I enclose this, so this will be our list. So that is the first point I have covered. Second point, I'll directly take this one. Heterogeneous objects are allowed. So I can take 10 year, comma, I can take 20.5. I can write something called Python. I'll write something called SQL. 
I am taking just various data types here. I'll write your BI, uh, BI tool, and I'll write here true. Whether it is okay? Yeah, it is okay because just now we have seen heterogeneous objects are allowed. So let me print this. Let us check whether you will get an output or not, or will you get an error? So print A. So let me execute this. I am using Shift Enter. Now you should get A here. That is all these values you should get. Okay. Yeah, you, you got an output, you can see. So, if you look at the fourth point, order is preserved. Order is preserved, matlab. so whatever, in which order I have given, the same order I got the output. Okay, so 10 is at the first, 20.5 is at the second, Python third, SQL fourth, BI fifth, true, sixth, whatever. Okay, so we have covered this point. We have covered this point. Okay, now if I, if you want to know duplicates are allowed. Okay, can I take 10 here? Can I take 10 here? Can I take 10 here? Yes, I can take. Okay, not only 10, you can take any value and see the repetition. So you get all this 10. So instead of 10, if you feel like, can I take 20.5, same value? Yes, you can take that. So I have covered this point also. The duplicates are allowed, heterogeneous are allowed. It is growable in nature. And the very important thing is, let me show you, hey, this is a list. How will you do that? So I need to check with the function type function type of a. Hey, what is the type of a? I'll tell you what is the type of a. Type is list. Okay, now I am comfortable that hey, this is a list. Now let me show you this indexing. So what is indexing? Now what I'll do? I'll say that hey, can you please tell me which is the which is the third element? So for that I need to use a of. So a is a list. A of Two. I'll take two. I'll show you. I'll just print this. Yeah, two is your Python. So if you are confused, like, hey, two is at twenty point five. Yes, but in Python, the index starts with zero. This is zeroth element. This is your first element. This is your second element. Sorry, zero element, first element, second element, third element, fourth element, and so on. So it is starting with zero. Let me show you. If I take a of zero and run this, so. You can see, hey, this is a 10. You can take. You can take this in the next cell also. If you are getting confused, let me take here. And you can see beautifully your A of first element. It is starting with the index 0. That is your 10. So this is how your indexing works. Indexing works. Then I will explain about the slicing. And then we'll move towards the mutable and immutable. So what is slicing here? So if I get a zero, if I type here zero, I'm getting a zeroth element. If I type, for example, a of four, for example, let me execute this. So your fourth element, zero, one, two, three, four, that is bi, you're getting bi. Now, if you say me like, hey, I want something, the values from Python to bi, I want to pull only these values, then you can slice. So slicing is like an, uh, in a real time example, if I want to show you the analogy, slice is you will slice an apple. So you'll get one piece out of that. You slice a cake. So you get something out of that. So now if I want to slice this, these all values, like three values, then what you need to do? Uh, you need to take print. Hey, I want to slice A. So for a slice, you need this bracket. So your Python starts with the second element, two. I want element two from five. Okay, let me print 5. So we will discuss in detail why I have used 5. So 2 to 5. So this is second element, third element, fourth element. So it will print till end minus 1. Like 4 minus 1, it will print till 5. We will discuss separately what is indexing and slicing in detail. But just I am showing you in least indexing and slicing are possible. We will see about mutable immutable in the separate session. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Keep learning. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.